Good morning. I'm heading out to another trip to the house. This one, I'm gonna be staying a lot longer than the one or two days I normally do. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be staying there. Sorry for Coco meowing in the background. Meowing. What are we doing? You don't want to go? I know, you don't like car trips. It's only for a little bit, okay? You being grumpy? You being grumpy? I'll bring your bed, okay? All right, the car is packed. Got the house okay. Um, drive was really good. Hardly anybody on the road. Uh, dropped Coco off. She's hiding in the bedroom somewhere. I did bring her bed for her, but she's not sitting in it. Um, she's just being kind of quiet right now and getting used to not being at home, but I'm sure she'll adjust in a few days. Um, went and got some groceries, now I'm back home, and I'm deciding what I'm going to do for today. Uh, one of my main priorities is getting my computer up and running. Uh, I did buy a new printer, so I'm hoping that works. I need to buy a monitor, because my monitor is just too big, it wouldn't fit in the car, so I'll just buy one, have it delivered here. Um, I buy from Amazon, it usually arrives the next day. So I'm really hoping to get my computer up and running so I can start listing some of this stuff on my eBay quilting store. Um, as far as the rest of the house, I need to pack up the rest of the fabric, uh, create little bundle boxes. I'm gonna do the flat rate bundle boxes I talked about in my previous video. Um, so I just need to pack up all the fabric, put it somewhere. I think I'm going to use the back bedroom, which was the sewing room, as my computer room. So this is the room I'm going to be using as my computer room slash eBay packing room. I am keeping this white IKEA table and I'll probably keep this white table with the shelves. Um, this table, I'll just break it down and sell it at the home goods sale. So everything else I just need to kind of pack up. I'm going to take these shelves down, uh, pack up all this leftover stuff, take these shelves down. I think I'm going to be keeping the wood shelves. Those are really nice and it's really hard to find solid wood shelves these days. And if you do, they're very expensive. So I'll just be keeping these because they're free. I'm going to donate the binders with the patterns in it as well as the batting that's out in the living room. So this is going to be my little office area. I'll probably get that set up today, uh, place an Amazon order for my monitor. So that's what I have planned for today. So I'll get started. 
There are a few reasons why I'm planning a longer trip this time. One is it's really hot where I live and I just want to get out of the heat. And the uh, monsoon season has started, so it's hot and humid, which makes it even worse. So I'm really looking forward to being in cooler weather for a while. It just gets so hot here during the summer. I'm really just getting tired of it. Um, I've been here for 20 years and I'm just really over the heat. Uh, I want to get out of it. Um, I think as I get older, my body just can't tolerate extreme temperatures. I don't know if it's just me or if that's an age thing for everybody. I know some people here love the heat. They go out hiking in 115 degrees. I don't know how they do that. I can't even be outside when it's 85. Um, so, um, and with our monsoon season, it's just hot and humid, which makes it even worse. Um, I know people say, well, it's a dry heat, but not during monsoon season. You know, I'm all, I love humidity. I love moisture in the air, but not when it's 110 degrees. That's just way too much. Um, so the weather is playing a big factor on why I want to go up to the house for a longer period of time. The second reason is I think I will get a whole lot more done when I'm there for a longer period of time. And maybe just doing a little bit here and there every day instead of trying to do 14 hour days of just moving stuff that just really wipes me out. I think I'll have better luck selling the furniture if I'm going to be there for a longer period of time. And there's a few projects around the house that I just can't get done in a day or two, such as having the exterior of the house painted. Um, it's really bad. Um, it really needs paint and it needs landscaping. My mom never put in landscaping. I know she was planning to, she was looking at samples of things to put in, of trees and rocks and stuff, because I found a few samples of rocks and gravel at the house, but it's, the yard is still basically just a clean slate, it's just weeds, and they grow rampantly, uh, especially during our rainy season. And I don't want to pay to have the weeds cut every month. Um, it's just too expensive. So um, I just really need to get some landscaping in. Plus it'll make it more attractive for the renters. And I'm just tired of looking at the weeds. Um, so those two projects, um, I just really have to be at the house for a while. They're not going to get done in a day or two. And I just need to be there to make sure everything goes as planned and on schedule and I can pay the contractors. Um, so, and another reason is I really want to sell a lot of the quilting fabric and kits on eBay and I figured instead of just hauling everything down to my house, which is really small, I don't have much room here for all of that, um, I'll just sell it out of the house up there um, and it'll give me something to do in between moving boxes and making trips to charities. So those are my reasons for wanting to plan a longer trip this time. I really have no idea how it's gonna go, how long I'm gonna be there. My minimum stay is a week. Um, I do wanna stay there a lot longer. Um, thinking, oh, our summer season here is pretty long. Ideally, I would just be there for three months. Um, I do need to come back to my house and check on it once a month and just make sure nothing's on fire or leaking. Um, I do have a car here that I'm leaving behind that I need to start up once a month just to keep it running. Um, and I do have doctor visits that I go to um, that I just prefer to go to my regular doctor instead of find a new one up there. Um, so I will be making trips back and forth, but um, ideally I really just want to stay at the house for 
I mean, ideally three months, but anywhere between one week and three months, I really don't know how Coco's gonna do, or if I'm just gonna get homesick and come back home. Um, but we'll let's see how it goes.
Coco came out for a little bit. She's like, what is going on? Where am I, Mom? <laughs> I was sleeping in my bed this morning, and now I'm in this weird place. So I've been working pretty much since I got here, rearranging things. I packed up the fabric. Oops, I didn't pack up all the fabric. I still have these shelves and these shelves. Um, let me give you an overview of the room. So this stuff down here is going to get donated. Basically, just all the craft knickknacks. This is all the felt. Um, I have some lady from the quilting guild. She was interested in picking up all my leftovers and either taking it over to the quilting guild or she has some other resources that she donates to. So all the shelves are empty. I pulled out those white shelves that were in the sewing room. I'm going to sell these. Uh, stuff I'm going to be putting out for the next sale. More stuff for the next sale. And table's empty. Shelves are empty. Yay! So I kind of have a few super separate piles here. This is stuff I'm going to take over to Habitat for Humanity. They have a thrift store in my area. Um, a lot of this is upholstery fabric, so I figured somebody could use it when they're remodeling their home and redoing their furniture. The fleece I'm going to take over to the local Humane Society. Somebody mentioned they use that for the animals, which is a great idea because I'm all for supporting animals. And this is for the quilting guild, so I'm just going to give them the batting. Some fabric that didn't sell. Um, a lot of these cutout patterns. Um, like, nobody was really buying those, but I'll just donate them to the guild and they can take them home to their family or their school or I don't know what. I just want them out of here. I'm going to be donating those pattern books, CDs, quilting frames, which I have no idea what they are, but the quilting guild can have them. And as we go in here, I'm going to see if that lady wants all the doll making stuff. I really don't know what to do with it. Um, I checked online and nobody was really buying it, even at super cheap prices. But the shelves are empty. We're in doll making stuff. I hope to donate. Um, if that lady doesn't want it, I'll just take it over to our local Goodwill. And I brought these shelves in. I'm going to sell this desk set. Um, I know you can't see it very well, but it's like an L-shaped desk. And it has this printer cart on wheels and the matching bookcase. So I'm just gonna sell that all as one set. Um, I don't really want it. I like the white table. Um, I don't really care for the black. But I do like this wood color, but it's kind of chipped and This is pretty worn out. Um, so, and that's worn out. Um, it's a cute set. I'm sure somebody will buy it. Um, so that's that. And we go in here. So this is gonna be my computer slash eBay room. I've been stacking the fabric up in here. 
Uh, those are the patterns. I'm probably gonna sell those on eBay as one big lot. Somebody mentioned people buy them for junk journaling. Uh, packaging supplies I brought up. So this is where all the fabric is. I'm going to take these white shelves down and sell them. I think I'm going to keep those white metal shelves. I like them because they're really lightweight and easy to move. And I'm also keeping these wood ones. I think I mentioned that before. Um, those are lightweight and easy to move. I need to put the sewing machine away. I need to find a place for that. I'm going to start stacking some of the stuff from the bedroom under the desk and try to free up some space in the bedroom. But this is what it looks like. I'm also gonna be taking these shelves down and selling those. And I have two more white metal bookcases I'm gonna put in here. And I'm just gonna stack the fabric on there. So all of this on the floor is gonna go on the shelves I bring in. So this is what the room looks like. I'm excited to get started with my computer and listing more stuff on eBay. So, going to eat some dinner, finish packing up this fabric here behind me, um, might do a little bit more rearranging, and I'm going to call it a day. I'm pretty exhausted. Um, overall, I had a pretty good day, kind of. Looking forward to getting the kitchen cleaned out and the bedroom is just overwhelmingly crowded, but that's another day. I know it won't be like that forever. Um, so that's it for now, and I'll see you tomorrow if I don't check in again tonight. Well, look who showed up. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Where are we going? Where are we going? Hi, oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. You hungry? Are you hungry? Oh my, he's hungry. Or one hungry kitty. Well, he licked the bowl clean. Is that it? You done for today? No, well, I'll go back outside. Oh, well, I enjoyed your visit. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.